Hey there! So I wanted to share something with you guys that I actually never shared before, sat down and thought about anything until I got asked this question and then really thought about it. So somebody had asked me why I decided to become a Beachbody coach. <laughs> before you freak out and change this video, know that I could not stand those little slimy suckers either because all they wanted was money. They didn't care about helping me. They just wanted a sale. And in every network marketing company, they are bad apples in there. And I seem to attract the bad apples for a long time, but that's, that's another story. Um, so let me start. <laughs> I was about 20 years ago, a massage therapist and I still am, which is a long career for a massage therapist. So you have to know that I truly love what I do if I'm still kicking it right now. Um, anyways, so I am um, about 20 years ago, I became a massage therapist and I was starting to see people come across my table that were dealing with issues that were easily fixed by more movement and better nutrition. So that prompted me to want to study nutrition a little bit more. So I kind of dove in a little bit into the nutrition aspect of things was you know, able to recommend things that people could do. Obviously I wasn't a registered dietitian or anything, so I couldn't give them specific like prescriptions or, you know, not prescriptions, but like writing them certain plans and saying, you have to follow this X, Y, Z, blah, blah, blah. Um, but that led into me becoming a personal trainer. So then I was able to take these three aspects, the nutrition, the personal training and the massage therapy and be able to help people and serve them better and make them better instead of just, uh, you know, fixing them on my, my table, I was able to let that carry on and they would have, you know, long-term results that were very long lasting. So this made me really, really happy. And then I started to, you know, talk about it and people were seeing that, but then they were like, oh, well, I don't live there. So I started to train people online. That was pretty cool. I love this because then I was still able to help more people because as a personal trainer, as a massage therapist, you, you're limited by the hours in the day. Like you can only help so many people in a day. And then when you're saying yes to a client that you'll put them on your schedule, you're saying no to something else. And that usually is like your family. And I didn't want that to happen because it was already going that way. And our marriage was starting to have some issues because I was never home. And when I was home, I was always working still like writing plans for people and you know like I just couldn't take myself out and just enjoy being a family I was always working even when I wasn't at work so I needed something that was going to allow me to help a a massive amount of people because that's really like I'm a giver that's what I'm here to do I truly care about changing a person's life for the better obviously I'm going to leave you better than I found you and I got asked by several slimy, slimy coaches to be a part of their team and I wanted nothing to do with them. Then I eventually found the team that I am on right now, which is um, the best one. We are the best, by the way. <laughs> um, that's besides the point, but we get some good training that I give to you. <laughs> so that's your benefit of it. Um, but I was better able to help more people. And this is what truly made me happy. But through all of you know this, this time period, I ended up doing yoga for nine years because I got into a depression and it was a pretty bad funk that I was in. And the I didn't wanna keep taking the medicines really because they just kept pumping me full of different medicines because the medicines weren't working the way that they were supposed to. And I was just getting worse. So I ended up being an advocate for my own health and going down the path of yoga. Did that for nine years and that became such an intense passion of mine that I felt that I needed to share that with the world and show yoga to other people who don't know what yoga is. They only have these ideas in their head because they see it on a poster or a billboard or YouTube and they don't really know what yoga is. So. I became a yoga instructor and being able to help those people in that class, like that's the one class I'm going to tell you right now, I will do that class probably until I'm 90. Like I 
love being a yoga instructor and seeing the changes that go on and the impact that I can have on other people's lives through yoga. It's, oh my gosh, it's so amazing, but that's a totally another video too. So <laughs> a lot of people tell me that I'm not like other coaches and I kind of take that as a compliment because I have the nutritional background. I have the fitness background. I have the anatomy background and I love yoga and not a lot of them do. <laughs> I mean, there are some, but there's not a lot like me. And the other thing is like, if you come to me for help, I'm going to help you regardless how we're gonna get it done, I'm going to help you. But here's the deal. I don't just help any Joe Schmo off the street or Betty Boop, I don't know, girls, because I have more women than men. <laughs> but I don't just help anybody. I help the people who are truly ready because again, when I tell you yes, that I'm going to help you, I'm telling somebody, somebody else, my family, another person who really needs help, no. Not right now. So I want to make sure if I'm committing my time to you, that you're committing your time to me. You've got some skin in the game. You give two shits about changing your life and you want to do this finally. Because I can guarantee you, if we work together, your life is going to change for the better. Because I leave you better than I find you. <laughs> but that's the difference. So... I just felt like sharing that story with people because I didn't have this huge transformation like other people where they've had, you know, 100 pound weight loss. Like, I never had that. The most weight I ever lost was because I was, when I got pregnant with our second child, I was in the middle of training for my next national show, those trophies right there. I did fitness competitions. So I was super lean. I was about 12% body fat, very, very lean and muscular. And when we got pregnant with our first daughter, I mean, it took us a year and a half to get pregnant. So I thought, okay, well, this is going to take a while. I have enough time to go to a show. So I was training for a show. Turns out my body was quite healthy <laughs> and I got pregnant within three months of trying. And so I was, I think about 110, 112 when I got pregnant and then ended up gaining, I think it was like 168, somewhere around there. So all that weight that I gained, that was the most weight, you know, after I had him, he was only seven pounds. Let's be real. He was little and the placenta doesn't weigh that much either. So I had a lot of weight to lose, but it wasn't like a huge transformation. Like I think it was about 45, 50 pounds that I lost. So it wasn't that big. So I didn't have this great transformation like other people. But the thing is, is I did have a transformation and I had that transformation up here and that's honestly the hardest part about all of this is getting this to work because you can eat the food and you can do the exercises but if you don't get this mind right then you're going to keep going through that cycle over and over where you do well and then you fall off and then you fall way off and then you finally get sick and tired of being sick and tired and then you start all over again and it's so hard when you start all over again and you lose that momentum. And that's what I'm here to do is to make sure your ass does not lose that momentum and you keep going. So long story short, thank you for sticking with me and watching this video. And if you relate to any of this, if you're a personal trainer, if you're a yoga instructor and you feel what I felt where you want to help more people, but you're limited by the hours in the day and you can't, you can only help so many people and then even online training, that takes a lot out of you too. So being a coach has really, it's changed my life for the better. I'm able to spend more time with my family. We're able to go on these badass vacations all the time. I love what I do. And I wanna build a team of people who love what they do and are passionate about this. Because I don't, I don't, I don't wanna waste my time with people who aren't really is what it comes down to. My team is a team of go-getters and I am proud of the women that I have on my team and that sisterhood is what I have craved and longed for my whole life because I'm an only child and I didn't have that. And when I went to college and became a sorority sister, like I finally had that sense of belonging and acceptance and then I graduated and that, you know, we kind of split ways. I went to the other side of the country and it was hard 
with that separation with my sisters and then I found coaching and now I have that sisterhood again and that's the best part is I can build it with whoever I want. This isn't like a job that you put me in and I've got to work with people I don't like. I get to pick who I work with. <laughs> that makes it kind of awesome. So again, if you are like me, if anything that I said kind of aligns with your values, I would love to talk to you and just maybe see if this is something that would work for you because it's not for everyone. I'm not ever going to say this job is for everyone because it's not. It takes a special person to do what I do. And I know that you're out there listening to me right now. So I would love to have you as part of my team. So you can go either to my website, suzybauer.com, or you can message me. My email is down below in the um, description. And I would love to hear from you to see just what's going on in your life and if this might be a good fit for you, okay? I will talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching. Oh, and subscribe because I'm putting up a lot of new recipes and stuff like that and in my blog too, okay?